David McDonald with the Pitt Sports and Entertainment. Good with night. That's so <laughs> good. Try that again. Oh my! Really? That's okay. so good, man. I'm gonna. I'll do another one for you. Okay. David McDonald with the Pitt Sports and Entertainment out here with Stephen from Anne Berlin. Stephen. How's it going? How are you right now? Man, you seem so pumped up. My life is good. Life is golden. Yeah, I can't. I can't imagine a better. I wouldn't trade this for anybody. Wow. So being here with you, David. Oh my! I, I mean, am. Look, I'm so thrilled. Look where we are. Exactly. Oh, can you commentate a Pistons game? Just imaginary Pistons game. Oh, later, oh, off camera, man, for you, this is only so for you. Good. You this and is the so guys, good. only you guys. Thank you very only much. Only you guys. Awesome. So you're about to release the seventh and final album next Tuesday. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't imagine what it's like. What is the, what is your view on this process of essentially saying goodbye to this band? I, you know, it's, it's, you know it, it, it's a blessing and a curse in the, in the same hand. I, I'm, I'm so blessed for the memories and, and that I've got to have. And, and also my future, I just enjoy, I enjoy the other side of music, you know? Like I've been in these bands, this band with uh, two of the members of Amberlynn, um, for, for half my life now, you know, and, and that's, that's incredible memories. But, uh, but I feel like there's more to life than just being in a band, you know? We've been on the road for 12 years now, for every year 200 plus days, most likely, you know, sometimes 300. And I just wanna explore the other side of life. And I know that's the old adage of the grass is always greener, but for me, it's just kind of like, I'm ready. You know, I'm ready to go see what that world's like. And uh, I have a family now that I wanna spend some time with. And, and it's, it's just been a great life. I mean, and there's definitely gonna be some negatives. You know, I miss, I know I'll miss being on stage. I know I'll miss being with those guys, like four of my best friends are sitting on that bus right now. So there's going to be some negatives, and I totally understand that. But, you know, I think that we're all in places in life, all five of us, that we're both, we're all kind of ready, like, okay, this is coming to an end, and we want to end it on our terms instead of fighting or internal struggles or, you know, being dropped by a label or whatnot. We kind of want to just end it on our own terms. Well, that's awesome, dude. That really is cool. Um, with this experience, with the final shows, um, what has been the... The reception from fans and the feeling of embracing this final moment really you know it's it's I, I you're right I want to I'm taking it all in and, and I know this is a horrible analogy but it's kind of like some you know like a doctor has diagnosed you and said listen you have six months to live well if, if I knew I had six months to live you better believe that I'm gonna be taken in every moment I'm gonna be having the time of my life I'm gonna be spending it with those I love I'm gonna be exploring this world, all that kind of stuff. So that's what I wanna do. Uh, that's, wh that's where I'm at and, and that with Anne Berlin. I know that we have six months as a band to live and I'm gonna take every moment like this mm -hmm. and just make it the best I can possibly make it. That is such a can-do optimistic attitude. Hey, thanks It a lot. really is. Um, obviously, uh, this band has been around for a long time, a lot of fans. How are the fans reacting to these shows, you think? Oh. Well, you know, every time I say, you know, this year is our last year, we're going to be a band, everybody boos, and, you know, I've seen somebody actually flick me off one time. It was pretty funny. I was like, sorry, man. But I mean, I, but I think that it's it's good for them, you know, like, at least we get a chance to see their faces. At least we get a chance, like, at Warped Tour to meet, it, you know, and talk to them at, after the shows and shake their hands and listen to their stories. And, I mean, they, everybody's just been so supportive, you know. Everybody, everybody's sad to see us go, but they're really excited about not only new music, but about, hey, I get a chance to see you guys live one last time, as opposed to bands that just break up. You know, that was it, no more, we're done. So I think that we're doing, we're doing right by the fans. Excellent, excellent. Uh, with this <clears throat> record, you decided to go back to uh, Tooth & Nail to release mm -hmm. it. And what led you to that decision? Well, for us, it was, it was a decision of, um, of basically making it a cyclical process. We've always loved Tooth & Nail you know, been good to us. We put our first three records out with them and then our next three with Universal. And it just kind of made sense for us. It was kind of like, why not just go home? You know, it's kind of like um, Emmett Smith. He played for the Cowboys, you know, all-time leading <laughs> rusher in the NFL. He went to the Cardinals, but he retired. He went back to Dallas to, to retire. And that's kind of like what we're doing. We kind of just want to go, you know, that's where we came from. Those were our roots. And Universal would have let us put our record out with them. You know, they were, we didn't get dropped. We didn't trade teams. We didn't, it wasn't like that. It was more just a, a very, like, mutual process of, like, here's what we want to do. We're breaking up, and we know you probably won't want to put a record out like that, you know, because we're not going to be touring for long. 
how about we go back to tooth and nail? Everybody was am amicable, everybody was amiable, and everybody ended up happy. So it was good. Well, that that's the ideal goal right there. Um, did you like the sports analogy? I, I mean, did. Are, I was actually going we to say. We are in say, the Pistons. This is where the Pistons Exactly. The Pistons. I, I, so I'm, I'm staring at Isaiah Thomas. Nobody can see it. It's off camera, you know. Right. So, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm in is that Is that where you're zone. getting inspiration from right now? Uh, they were, yeah, except for they were, that Piston team was pretty evil, right? You oh, know yeah. Saying? They were blood. All, all of the good oh, Piston oh. teams were mean. Yeah. All of them. There's no, there's that's no, what made them good. There's no foul if it wasn't blood. So, you know, yeah. That's, yeah. That, that's where I'm getting the inspiration. So, maybe I'll punch you, and then <laughs> I'll full circle it with the Piston team. You just. Oh, I'm sorry. Hypothesized punching me. I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm thinking I, about it. Now I, it I will. I will never forget that. I'm sorry. I will I'm never forget. No, it, it's. But if I really do punch you, you literally will never forget. Yeah. Well, that actually might make me forget. Like, what, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, that's true. Very Did true. Stephen <laughs> punch me in the and face? I'll just, I'll just blame it on somebody else. <laughs> like, like Dylan over there. Yeah, I'll yeah blame like him. Dylan. Okay. Um, sports analogies. You okay. guys, sports fans. Oh, we are massive, massive. I think I remember seeing a picture of you with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is a good friend. Um, he's been we've we've known him, we've known him before he started even at Green Bay. Oh wow! So yeah, it was a crazy story, but uh, but he's just a great, great, solid dude. You know, it's 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 it's, it's really cool that I, I you know, especially when he won like MVP at the Super Bowl, we were all just like, oh my gosh, shook his hand. Like that's just so <laughs> cool, you know? Pretty cool. Even you guys can get geeked out over. Oh yeah, easy, easy. Uh, I mean, yeah, bring in the Beatles or the Smiths or you know in here any of the Beatles, the remaining two. But, right, uh, the remaining. Two. I would probably just start like shivering or something. I don't know. Okay, so so what teams do you guys follow? Well, um, two of the, two of the guys in the band, um, Joey, and we're all pretty pretty much NFL unless it's World Cup USA soccer oh okay so you it's guys got a little NFL. into the World Cup oh, this year way into the World Cup oh but then so much as, fun as soon as the US lost we were just all I mentally yeah. just checked out didn't didn't really care um, but other than that we're basically NFL so Dion and, I'm sorry uh, yeah Dion likes the Patriots our bass player that's his favorite team Christian likes the Seahawks because he's from Seattle our guitarist and then Joey and Nate have made a really bad decision to like the Buccaneers, and I am a, I'm a Saints fan, so... Why would anyone choose to like I the Buccaneers? It's, it's sad. It's not even a local thing? It's a local thing, oh, but it's a sad local thing. It is. You know? So, I mean, we feel bad for them, so we just kind of cheer them on when we can, you know. It could be it, you could be stuck with the Lions. You know what? Well, here's the thing about Come the Lions. On. They're they're good, but they're bad. They are good, but they're bad. I mean, you have that's, so many that's great e players. That's even worse than being bad. You have Sue. You have Calvin Johnson. Good Lord. Yeah, I think, we, you know, we like have Stafford, so much. You, I mean, we have so much, but we, we get so little. You do. Who's your running back? Because now Javon Bell's out. Uh, Reggie Bush is still. Bush is there. Yep. That's right. For whatever reason, I was thinking Miami, but that was his former team. Yeah. Sorry. Bush, you got you got a good we, team. We right? should be better. Yep. Yeah. St Please challenge the Detroit Lions on camera to be better. Please be better, but not as good as the Saints, so there's that. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that, that's at least an improvement. It is. Okay, so the last uh, song on this, uh, on this uh, upcoming album is called Harbinger. Yes. What is the harbinger of what's next for you guys after Anne Berlin? Uh, well, a uh, harbinger would be a person, like a person who are, that pioneers change. And so I think that all of us in our own lives have kind of like been our own pioneers yeah. of change. We came together as a unit and said, here, guys, we're planning on disbanding. You know, you, you know, we all felt it at the same moment. It just felt right. And so now it's, it's our turn to be harbingers in our own lives, you know, to, to, to be the pioneer of change. Um, and whatever that looks like, some of the guys are going to keep continuing the music. One guy, went, you know, Nate, our drummer's opening up a coffee shop in, in Tampa. Um, and so everybody's kind of going to, you know, just go their own ways. But it's just going to be so great to be able to be, a, you know, an outsider looking in and watching as everybody, you know, changes and, and, and formulates that, that change in their own life. Well, I will say you seem really excited about the change, though. I am. I'm, so, I'm ready and I'm not. You know, I mean, it's just, again, like, I don't, I don't wish this time away. I don't, I don't hope that, you know, oh, man, I just wish this was over. I don't, no way. I want, again, I want to take this all in. And experience the moment and be present in the moment and uh and just uh and go from there well i'm looking forward to what's next for you steven thanks david it I was wonderful it. talking oh, to you unbelievable talking to you <laughs> all right so we are set here uh let's do a pick actually wait no no i want to i want to hear this uh this yeah. pistons play-by-play yeah, yeah. play.
places. Oh, God. See, the well, thing is, the I haven't followed the Pistons okay, in like do, four years. Yeah, do, do a sport you want. I, I want to hear you do sportscasting. I haven't heard that one. Oh, here's I'm, the thing. I'm, I'm giving you, I'm giving you a done career. it. I've never done and it. And what if this just opens up like... What, what if he's the harbinger for your next step as a sportscaster? Oh, caster? my... There we go. Look here. <laughs> Stafford goes back. Long ball. Calvin Johnson wide open. You've had dreams of this, haven't you? I'm just waiting for you to do it. Oh. Or at least give, give us a Casey Kasem or something. Do it. No. Just one pass. Just one pass. Johnson to the 20. To the 10. He's in. <laughs> Detroit Lions. See, I just... There's your career. You're welcome. I...